Well, it's uh, we're re, you know re. Uh, how do you say a reboot on a re a replaying a character? With these characters are in the original Rick and TC, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> Larry Minetti and uh, Roger Mosley originated the characters. In Roger E. Mosley. Roger E. Mosley. He prefers E. Got to keep that Apparently, E. Apparently, he prefers Roger E. Mosley. Um, you know, I would say probably we're the kind of like the closest thing to the original uh, in terms of what our characters are like. My guy is the uh, guy who sort of got the island dialed and uh, uh, knows sort of walks both lines of like the criminal elements and, and stuff in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. And TC, uh, ex Marine Corps chopper pilot, um, has his own uh, island hoppers. Uh, uh, helicopter service on the on the island, and um, you know they still have to this day that same like painted. It's called Magnum Choppers, okay. and so we're using that again. So my my chopper has the same iconic feel to it and look, and uh, they also have a, I have a van that has the same like painted uh, thing you, you, you'll see in um, episode two. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, TC is pretty much the, the same as the original, but, you know, my own personality and spin on it, you know. So for those who aren't familiar with the show, which I am, but for those who aren't, how do you guys relate to Um, Thomas? Well, uh, uh, Tom, Thomas Magnum, Rick, and TC uh, were all uh, POWs together in the original, and they were in Vietnam, and the new one, we were in Afghanistan. And uh, uh, there's a fourth, um, uh, played by uh, Dom Lombardozzi, uh, who obviously, if you've seen the trailer, you see that he dies in the pilot. And that's sort of, you know, we're all in Hawaii because the novelist Robin Masters has given us, uh, um, you know, essentially a, a new life after leaving the service. Yeah. Because um, we gave him all the stories. We gave him all the stories. That made him a multi-million dollar novelist. Mm-hmm. So he is sort of our benefactor, and uh, the overall arc of the show will be to figure out why we were in that POW camp in the first place, obviously dealing with repercussions of losing our one of our best friends, and uh, in, the, um, in the format of a, a, a case, there's a new case every week that uh, Magnum will be solving or trying to solve, and luckily he's got a friend who walks with the criminal element, and he's got a friend with a chopper. Imagine that. Imagine you know you need an Uber. You got to get somewhere fast. Imagine you had a friend that had a helicopter. Pretty cool. Yeah, you know. (laughs) Yeah. What are you getting here this weekend? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So, um, obviously, storytelling when Mag P.I. was first on, what you can do has changed greatly over the couple decades. Yeah. Um, Um. how have the stories evolved to something that's much more resonant to now? Um, well, I would say, first of all, you know, especially in the pilot Justin Lin directed, so it has a much more high octane action bend to it. Uh, certainly in the pilot, I mean, there's some really amazing stuff. It looks like a movie, it's, it's pretty wild. It won't be that every week, obviously. Um, but you know we're gonna the, the difference from I, I would say any uh, typical procedural. There's some really funny episodes too. And in fact, the you know the first episode is heavy. It's intense. Nuzo dies. All this crazy stuff happens. The second episode, I don't think there's any spoilers. We're like we're looking for a fish, a stolen fish in the second episode. <laughs> you know, so we're gonna have that comedy element that Magnum had. Yeah. And uh, and it's weird also. You know, nowadays there are some things that you can't really get away with yeah. that I think the old Magnum got away with. You know, in terms of you know some some of the little misogyny that you can get away with in the '80s, you can't really do anymore. Um, and I think that is a good thing. It gives us a fresh take, and you know, women are more respected in a certain way than they were, which is why we have a, a, a woman playing Higgins now. You know, which is awesome. Double O seven. Sorry, if, if M can change, that's okay. right. Yeah. And she's great too. You know, Perdita Weeks, who plays Higgins, uh, she actually is an, like an ass kicker. It's like <laughs> I, I don't like watching a movie or TV show where 
there's like some very frail man or woman like kicking everybody's asses. She she can actually kick. I'm I'm actually kind of afraid of her. <laughs> she, she her action yeah. sequence in the pilot is awesome. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. I mean, I got a big kind of action thing coming up in the next episode. I got a lot to live up to because. She, she did so great in the pilot so uh, I think that's a great addition you know it gives a new energy to the show and um, uh, it's really fun is there something you can kind of touch on is there something you guys are waiting for the fans to see like something you're excited that you did or going to do this season well we've only done the first episode we're shooting starting on Monday oh wow yeah so we're here to hang out with you guys and then going right right to work um, but uh Waiting for the fans to see a new, the new Magnum, you know, um, and just and be okay with, you know, a lot of people have like this nostalgia and it's tied to their memories, and I want them to be able to allow themselves to make new memories with a new show and allow new fans that maybe didn't see, even see the old show to make memories, you know. Yeah, I think we can probably, hopefully, if we do our job, we'll bring the old audience to the new and a new audience to the old one. Because you know, it, it, it's uh, it can only help the the uh, original Magnum too. And um, now I'm really good friends with Larry Minetti, who played Rick in the original, and I want his residual checks to start bumping up. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. trickle down economics is yeah. what it's called. But um, it's it. I was just gonna say it's just so much fun, you know. And I just want people. For me, I mainly do comedy stuff usually, and. So to, to be able to do the action and have a little fun, it's great. And I'm excited for people to see me in that role. Yeah. Speaking of action, you have your characters have very specific skill sets. Yes. What kind of training did you have to go through with the characters? <laughs> well, the chopper. <laughs> Tell them what happened yeah. in the chopper. Yeah. Um, they put us in that thing, and we were filming five minutes later. They turned it on, yeah. and he just goes, "Don't pull this stick, or yeah. you're gonna go up." <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you know, I didn't get a lot of training, but we we did. We spent a lot of time recently at Pearl Harbor um, yes. with some yeah. really awesome people in the military. Um, do we want to give any names of those? Of, uh, I don't think we can. Yeah. We've, uh, we've yeah. hung out and done, yeah. we went on a sub, a nuclear sub, and yeah. we spent three days with... Um, yeah, I, I sat in a chopper with an actual yeah. pilot and talked talk to him. And a lot of gun stuff. Yeah, they teach us the gun stuff. You got yeah. so, yeah. And then yeah. the, the people on the actual island... Um, uh, the the guy that owns the chopper company, he said he would, would teach me how to, how to fly. But I don't know if I can do that for the show. You know, they, they're, yeah, not gonna, never, they're not, not going to never let, let us up that. in a chopper. On but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to learn some real stuff. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.